Hey guys, Mike here for Intense Computing, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 20th Century Fox style intro for your videos or anything like that. Now you're just going to need a few things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a program called Blender, which can be found at blender.org, and uh, all the links will be in the description if you guys need them. Just head over to download, and then click uh, either 32-bit, 64-bit, Linux, or Mac, whatever you have. Or anything like that. Then uh, if Blender tells you after the install that you need a program called Python, just go to python.org. That'll also be in the description. And uh, go ahead and download that there. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need the project for Blender, which can be found by going to the link in the description. Uh, everything, like I said, everything will be in there. And uh, just go ahead and download the zip file from there. I already have it, so no big deal. And a little bit later, we're going to get the music for you, but we don't need that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, after you've downloaded that uh, file, you're going to go ahead and open it just by double-clicking it, and it'll open up Blender. Um, this is actually another one that I have. Uh, actually, let me open the other one. This is the zip file that you guys are going to be using. And it'll just come up saying 20th Century Fox. Close that out. Um... And it's really simple to change the text. All you have to do is right-click the text that you want to change, press Tab, and type in what you want it to say. So I'm going to make it just like the one that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. So Intense Computing. And then to shorten it, if you have to, or lengthen it, you're going to push this little blue square down here. And then you're going to click the red square up here and just shorten it up. Now to delete the TH if you don't want it, just press right uh, right-click it. Uh, press delete and then press erase so there's that as you can see it looks pretty good on here let me shorten this a little more there we go now we're gonna do the same for down here we'll do feature and presentation it's also a little long so we'll shorten that And believe it or not, guys, that is it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this up a little bit so the P looks a little better. Um, to move it, simply just click it, move your mouse a little bit, and then it'll start moving. So we'll move that like that. And perfect. All right, guys, that is all you have to do. Uh, the camera movements and the spotlight, everything is already set up. Uh, now, this is the part that's going to take up a lot of time, and it'll slow down your computer a lot because it'll be using all of your hard drive. Well, not it won't be using all of the space, but it'll be uh, spitting it at 100%, so it'll slow your computer down a little bit uh, for the time being. But what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and go down here. Um, I find that AVI JPEG works the best, and you're just going to push PAL 16x9, and that'll change the size and everything for it. Now... You're just going to press animate, and depending on your computer, it can take up to four hours, or I've heard some people can even take their computer 24 hours to finish rendering it. It just all depends on the speed of your computer. For, <clears throat> excuse me, for me, it took about four and a half hours to finish rendering uh, because it, do it does have a lot to move. So um, I'm not going to re-render it because I don't have to because it's the same thing, but I'll go ahead and open it up here, uh, just so you can see what it looks like. And uh, that's basically what the finished presentation will look like. It looks a little laggy uh, right now because I'm actually screen recording. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it. That's what it'll end up looking like. The daylight will be like that and everything. It'll look really cool. Um, now, to add audio... Uh, it's really simple. Just open up like any file that will accept the movie, like uh, Windows Movie Maker. I have Sony Vegas 9, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do it with Sony Vegas 9. Okay, so all you have to do is drag your video in. This one already has audio, but I'll go ahead and delete the audio. And you can add any music in here that you want. Um, I had the one that you heard was music that I found online which I don't have the link to but I do have a link to the regular Fox music and that will be in the description so guys that is pretty much it that's all you have to do to make a really cool looking Fox intro if you have any questions you can go ahead and leave a comment below 
or you can uh, send us a personal message uh, with the subject, the name of this video. Uh, so thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to comment, uh, thumb up, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.